another elected official. We're gonna hear words from our snug, our, our newly commissioned snug program in Poughkeepsie. And first up, we're gonna hear from Jamie Preston. She is the New York chapter representative for Moms Demand Action. Come on, give it up for Moms Demand Action. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all so much for showing up today, and especially to the organizers, Rob and Joseph. Thank you, it's a really great day. Um, in times like this, I think it's especially important for us all to raise our voices together to put an end to violence in our communities. My name is Jamie Pesson, and I'm a volunteer for Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. I'm here because last month, a high school student was murdered in Poughkeepsie, and because just a couple of weeks ago, two toddlers were shot in Hudson, and because just last night, another teenager was shot here in Poughkeepsie. I'm here because I was chilled by the sight of neo-Nazis marching with torches and rifles in Charlottesville, and because I'm disturbed by the Nazi paraphernalia on display at gun shows in Westchester and Saratoga Springs. Each day, 93 Americans are killed by gun violence, and more than twice that number are injured. But the numbers don't tell the whole story. We have seen too often how one bullet can shatter not just a person, but an entire community. And now, on top of the everyday violence ravaging our cities, we have yet another reason to fight the gun lobby's dangerous agenda. The link between guns, hate, and the extremist rhetoric of the gun lobby is undeniable. We saw what it looked like when hateful bigots carried their firearms to intimidate protesters in Charlottesville. We know that hate crimes are on the rise across the country and that 8,000 hate crimes a year, more than 20 incidents a day, involve a firearm. We have a lot of work to do because New York has a lot at stake. Right now, the gun lobby is pushing to enact a law called Concealed Carry Reciprocity. If it's passed, the law would allow people from other states to carry hidden, loaded weapons throughout New York, in many cases without even having to have passed a background check. Shockingly, some of our New York congressional representatives think this would be a good idea or haven't taken a strong stance against it. This week, our volunteers will be visiting some of those representatives, including some not too far from here, to let them know that we will not stand for more guns on our streets endangering our families. We must be louder than the most hateful among us. In this political climate, it's not enough to simply shake our heads every time a toddler gets caught in the crossfire. We must work toward an America where no one is hated or unsafe because of where they live or who they are. I hope you'll join me and all of the community advocates here today in continuing the hard but essential work of keeping our kids safe. Now is the time for action. Thank you. Come on, let's clap. Put our hands together for Jamie Preston. She has some precious words for us to understand and we support you. We support Act, demand action and we thank you for being part of this here coalition all right next up we have Curtis Simpson he is the senior supervisor outreach worker from the snug Pro program that has been newly instituted in the city of Poughkeepsie put your hands together for Curtis Simpson afternoon everybody for those who don't know me, I'm Coach Luck. Yes, yeah, so now you know my real name. So we ain't gonna be like, wow, that's his real name? <laughs> the, um, I had this speech, but I ain't giving it. So everybody has been affected directly and indirectly with gun violence and violence as a whole. So it should be a million people out here. Yes. It really should. It's a shame that we did a march and we had the people that we had, and we were, we are so thankful that those people marched. But it's, it, it, it's really sad that even with the with the with the 18 year old kid that got shot last night, that this is not packed. Yeah. I mean, just you pulling out your camera phone at a store and, and going like this doesn't make you part of the movement. Do something. Walk. Come down. Speak out. You know, our program, the SNUG program, it's a dangerous program. What we do is we try to stop retaliatory shootings. So basically what we try to do is get in front of them, but if we can't, we get in the middle of them. 
I'm getting paid a lot of money to do this, so I'm not doing it for money. I'm not from Poughkeepsie, I'm from Harlem, but I've been up here 24 years. So this is my town now. You know, so at the end of the day, if you are born and raised here and you're not here, you don't care about your town. That's a reality. So you can t turn that around any way you want to turn it around. This is my town now. You know, and again, I want gun violence to stop. My daughter, my sons, they live here. I want them to be able to ride a bike, come to the park, and just clearly walk the streets without worrying about being shot by a straight bullet. And you know, the SNUG program is in the family partnership. It's in room L23. Um, the biggest thing that we do, we want support. We need interns. We want volunteers. You know, um, our, Twitter, our Twitter account is snub um, underscore PK. You know, and um, again, we have a shooting response for yesterday's, for today's shooting, Tuesday at Cannon Street, six o'clock. Again, I'm gonna say it again, Tuesday, Cannon Street, six o'clock. We will have a response to today's shooting. And again, stop talking and get involved. Thank you. All right. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. We need, we need more young men like this young man here who will step up and speak out and try to bring this community together. We, we applaud his efforts and we're gonna support him. When is that again? When is that um, response? Uh, Tuesday, six o'clock, Cannon Street. Cannon Street and Academy. On the corner of Cannon and Academy where that shooting occurred, we're gonna have a gathering there and we expect you to tell somebody, bring a friend, and most of all, you show up to support your own community as we give our efforts to snug program, all right? Next up, we're gonna have uh, none other than our county legislator, Joel Tyner. Woo! Come on, Joel. Thank you, Joseph. Um, I'm glad Snug is here. Do you remember a couple years ago, two, three, four years ago, we were talking about we got to get Snug to Poughkeepsie, we got to bring Snug to Poughkeepsie, and all those meetings at the Family Partnership Center and the petitions. So together, Republicans and Democrats, everybody working together, Snug is in Poughkeepsie. I was pushing hard for a 24-hour mental health drop-in crisis center that was Democrats and Republicans making it happen, the Crisis Stabilization Center. I pushed with Barbara Jeter Jackson, Democrats and Republicans to bring back the County Human Rights Commission. Now the County Human Rights Commission isn't maybe necessarily strong enough or tough enough, doesn't have enough teeth like the West Chester County Human Rights Commission, but we got the Human Rights Commission back, we have SNUG, we have the Crisis Stabilization Center, and even talking about gun control, in the wake of Newtown, uh, it was kind of rushed through a little bit, but I'm, I support it, the New York Safe Act, very strong legislation about gun control. Now why do I bring those things up? Why do I bring those four things up? Because together, Democrats and Republicans, we made those things happen. And I'm asking, even though there may be not a lot of people here, there's still maybe 20 or 30 of you listening, I just want to remind you what Alice Walker said. She said the most common mistake that people make is they forget the power that they have. The 20 or 30 of us listening to my voice right now, we have power. You have power. I've seen what one person can do being a pain in the ass on the sixth floor of the county office building. I've seen it. We can move mountains. We can move mountains. We have to bring hope back to Poughkeepsie. I grew up in Poughkeepsie. I grew up in Poughkeepsie at the corner of Church and Cherry Street. All right, that red house with the white trim. I, I grew up there from 1964 to 1971. I was engaged to be married to a, a, a young woman with Halen was the last name. So when I see